Good day, everyone. Merry meet. My name is Glynis. I'm the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. If you've just found my channel, well, welcome. I hope you hit the subscribe button and join me. And if you're returning with you guys already know, I'm so happy to see you. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is, do is happy. And um, this video is just a, a little bit of a wee bit of chit chat. Um, I had a, a question asked today about ce celebrating Samhain. And I made myself a few notes um, because and I'll share how I celebrate Samhain. Uh, and there's, you know, a few other ideas here, too, uh, depending on, you know, your thoughts and where you are in your path and things like that. Um, for me, Samhain is like a very big deal. Um, I've already been in the kitchen all morning long working because I will be having a big dinner I will be baking bread, and when we break bread, we'll take it outside. Now, not, the, not all of the bread, but we will take part of it outside and sprinkle a bit out for the birds, and you guys know how I feel about that, and we'll, we'll do that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I wish you could smell the house because it just smells absolutely glorious in here. And for me, celebrating Samhain, it's a, thankfully I have, with my work, I'm flexible. So, um, I will be celebrating probably for a good week. <laughs> I, I seem to turn uh, the Sabbaths into week-long celebrations. Uh, I'm not saying I party all day long, but uh, I, I find a way every day to celebrate whatever is going on and to incorporate it into my life and you know just have have a, a wonderful time enjoy life uh, but that's certainly one way you can celebrate Samhain is to have a, a, a dinner which you're probably gonna have dinner anyway but make it a, a little bit more of a festive dinner and I would suggest uh, and not, I'm not trying to sound morbid, but I would suggest setting a place for a recently departed loved one. Maybe, you know, that's something to think about. I mean, that's entirely up to you. Um, I, in my life, ongoing, this is just not for Samhain, this is, this is all the time, I do have an ancestral altar. It, you might want to uh, set up an ancestral altar, put a few little votive candles out, uh, speak to them out loud, uh, speak their names, and speak to them out loud, and, you know, catch them up on what you're doing, how your life is going, and things like that. Um, other ways um, you can Let's see, uh, you can, I would take a nature hike. I probably, unfortunately for the next couple of days here, it's gonna be raining. So that's gonna be kind of out of the question. But as soon as the weather uh, turns a little bit better, I will be going on a hike. I'm a big hiker. And typically when I go for a hike, I will look for one or two little things that I can bring back with me. It might be something as simple as a very pretty pebble, an acorn, a pine cone, you know, anything. If, if, it's, if it's a public place, of course, I would uh, take a lot out of there, especially if it's prohibited. But if you're hiking in a natural area to where you can do that, then and then incorporate that into your table settings. I do that all of the time. Um, as far as uh, your salon is, uh, dinner is concerned, I mean, I wouldn't think twice about inco incorporating skulls into the scenario as well. Um, you could also visit a cemetery. You could um, visit 
any of your family in a cemetery. I actually have a family member here in Nashville. I have a great grandfather that is buried here in the city cemetery. He was, believe it or not, he was the first Baptist minister here in the Nashville area. So I probably will um, make a visit to the cemetery and take some flowers and pay my respects and uh, so that he's not forgotten because um, I'm sure, I'm, I'm relatively sure that they don't have a lot of family left to pay their proper respects. I'd like to think that they do, but this was my great-grandmother's father. And I, I think it was, I think it was her father or grandfather, but um, this was on my grandmother's side of the family. So um, yes, I'll go visit them um, and uh, do that. You can also, with everything that's going on, you're hiking, having dinner, feeding the birds, uh, visiting a cemetery if you want, sit back and, and think about your life and think about death, which I know that sounds kind of morbid, but think about your life. And I think that's one of the reasons why, and I, I know, I, I think someone said, how did they say it to me? Um, as far as my, my positive attitude is kind of creepy. <laughs> but if you sat back and took everything into perspective about life, and a lot of the small stuff that people are angsting over and sweating over it's in the long run in the long run it, it's not worth worrying about because in the end it doesn't make a difference it makes no difference at all and and i know i've i've shared this with you guys before but that's where you know when i was younger and and what, like I said, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't miserable, but I did, I sweated a lot of the small stuff. And like I said, in the long run, all of the small stuff, it made no difference at all. So, you know, sit back at your life and think about it. Now, depending on where your path has taken you and where you are in the greater scheme of things, I don't want to tell you do this, do that, or whatever, but um, I probably, and this is just my daily life, but I probably will have a seance. Um, I don't have a problem with conversing with uh, the dead, uh, not at all. But I'm, I'm not, and I'm certainly not saying this is for absolutely everyone to do. I certainly don't want anyone to get themselves in a bind and then they're going to suffer the repercussions of conversing with the dead and then the de dead decide they want to stay <laughs> you know but um so in that respect uh be very careful depending on you know what you can handle and you know what you can't handle but this is exactly why i shared my recipe for the sage spray and the cleansing spray because i know what i'm going to be doing and i know at the end of my week-long celebration I'm going to be doing a thorough cleanse and I'm going to be brushing everything out of the house so that it won't stay. Um, you could also uh, have a small, if you can physically, have a small like little bonfire. Write down the things because in, like I said, in, in my mind this is my new year. So write down the things that you want to purge, that you want to uh, you know, if you want to quit smoking or if you want to lose weight, things that you want to purge out of your life, write it down. Sit down and think about it and write it down. Have a bonfire. Have a couple of glasses of wine, a couple of beers. And, you know, make it, make it a ritual. And this will help, I think, with resolve if you want to quit overeating or smoking or whatever um, a lot of us will do a little bit of more divination 
uh, we'll be doing a little bit of scrying and things like that. So, but again, that's depending on where you are in your practice. Uh, I'm not going to recommend that you you just go from zero to sixty, but these are just maybe just a few little things for you to get started with. Um, there are some plants that are closely related with Samhain. That's allspice berries, catnip, mountain ash berries, mugwort, mullen, oak leaves, acorns, rosemary, sage, pine cones, things of that of that nature. Um, but that is what it means to me. Um, I also, now I'm not saying to put a candle in your window because I have one and it looks like a candle, but I have a candle in my window and this for, for in my mind, this is a guiding light for wayward spirits to come. And again, that's for that's a seven day thing. Of course, my candles in there year round, but um, uh, maybe a votive candle in your window if that's possible. If not, do like just a little electric, like little night light thing. Um, I have one of those like little gel bulbs. It's in my kitchen window. I have one of those gel bulbs that looks like a little candle, but um, you know, I hope. This gives you some good ideas and food for thought, but you know what? I hope you guys have a safe and a very happy Samhain. And thanks for indulging me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And again, thank you for joining me. With that, I will say a merry part, but I hope to marry me again. Goodbye, guys.